appears as a check engine light, can't drive over 50 km an hour, and the Mercedes 126A00 or similar ECAS code. To find out why exactly the swirl valves can't open, the turbo and intakes have to come off. This means many surrounding parts have to come off. Many, many parts. This is why the job is so hated and expensive. Here we can see the rods, swirl valves, sensor tabs, etc. The valves only serve for a few mission situations. If only there was a way to get back on the road without all that money and keep the computer happy. The super smart CAN bus operated motor still works and the over redundant swirl sensors still work. Just all that permanently seized swirl stuff is stuck no matter how much cleaning. Hmm. Solution! 3D model what we have are working with and create a bracket that mounts the feedback sensors directly to the swirl motor using original mounting points. Voila! The bracket. Skipping to where the prototype bracket is tested. It is installed in the original swirl motor location without removing the turbo or intakes at all. Possible roadside. Computer is satisfied, no check engine light, full power. Off we go.